Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So last week we did an experiment to find out how eight sims would behave if they all lived together and they were all enemies. Whoa, well, I'm gonna have to pause this now. We observed them for 24 sim hours and in that time we had one fight and that was about it. We had a few angry words spoken but nothing physical other than that so I have eight more sims this time in the sims 2 I wanted to do this in the sims 2 because I feel like this is going to be absolute carnage and already I haven't even finished my intro and uh, Tony here all of their surname is enemies has just had the light smacked out of him by prom queen princess Della here so I guess these sims have decided that the experiment starts now so we're going to do 24 hours observing these sims, how they behave. So we'll do it until, let's say, 9 a.m. tomorrow. So, okay, seconds in, we now have another fight. So I kind of, uh, my prediction is going to be that we're gonna see a lot of physical violence in the, in the Sims 2 version. They're a little bit less held back than Sims in the Sims 4. And we might even end up with, um, oh, we've got the therapist coming to see Della, because she's so depressed, living with so many people she hates. But it'd be interesting to see if anyone decides to run away and move out. Already needing some help from the therapist. Yeah, it would be interesting to see if anyone decides to move out. Oh, another fight's broken out. Uh, another slap's happened. Yeah, all of my Sims autonomous actions are just <laughs> fighting each other, slapping each other. But yeah, I'm genuinely really interested to see if, if I don't get loads of notifications being like, that's it, I'm out of here, I don't want to live with these sims anymore. By the end of the 24 hours, we might not end up with uh, eight sims still. Oh no. Yeah, still so many slaps, so many pokes. We haven't even made it back inside the house yet. What a contrast, hey, what a contrast to the sims 4. Everyone is just hitting each other, calling each other crazy. Oh shit, another fight's broken out now. Another fight, everyone's watching, everyone's cheering. So this might go the other way. We might find that actually my sims end up doing nothing but beat each other up. There is so many attacks going on here that it's kind of hard to keep track. Even, even Rod Humble is not knowing what to do. It's so hard to keep track of how many instances of violence there are because there are so many everyone's starting scraps everyone's poking each other those two in the background tony and cheska they've been in the house and they just keep slapping each other just repeatedly slap slap slapping oh and now they've we've got two fights going on at once are we gonna go for a hat trick guys we're gonna get three going three on the go i've given them this lovely house with a pool table and everything and all they want to do is scrap oh i think another fight has broken out between these two now yeah yeah, everyone's just kind of booing them. Uh, put the walls down just so we can keep track of what's going on out here. This is one rowdy bunch. This would make for a fantastic reality TV series. This is basically like Sims 2 Geordie Shaw. Oh, Joey, he's had enough. He can't take any more. He's crying. But you know what, though, Tony? I'm glad that you're able to get away from it all and find some inner peace. Escape the chaos going on outside. Yeah, these Sims, man, these enemy Sims, they just have no chill. Absolutely no chill. I, I sh we should get used to seeing this grey cloud, the grey fighting cloud, because we're going to see a lot of it. In case you missed my Sims 4 video where we observed how Sims would behave if they were all enemies, um, or in case you forgot the rules of these experiments that I do, the intention is to be observational, so I can't intervene, like I can't tell them to do anything. Everything they do should be their own behaviour, so I'm trying not to get too involved <laughs> if they're like constantly fighting and stuff. Gritting her teeth. It's just, it's the facial expressions, man. It's the facial expressions that really get me. Are we just gonna be in an endless loop of constant fighting? I mean, I, that's kind of what you would expect, I guess. If you did lock eight sims in a house together who were like proper enemies, you know, they would just beat each other up all the time, wouldn't they? Yeah, furious, absolutely furious with these. So many are still furious with each other. Guys, why don't we, maybe someone could cook us a meal or something. Oh, see, again, Tony, he's just minding his own business, taking a shit, spending some time alone once again on the John. He's a loner, but he's got the right idea. He doesn't want to get involved in the drama. He doesn't want any part of it. Just wants to be left alone. Bless him. Not like you fuckers, starting shit all the time. 
Oh, I think Trish might wet herself. Guys, there is a, a perfectly good bathroom in there that you all have access to. I guess none of them are getting the chance to use the toilet because they're, they're not really getting a break from the, um, from the attacks. Guys, just go to the bathroom. See, these Sims, man, their hatred is all-consuming. It's taken so much from them that they can't even find the time to go to the bathroom, to go to the toilet. Is everyone inside now? Yeah, I think everyone from the household is finally inside. Oh, guys. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to be seeing any group meals being cooked anytime soon. I don't think any of these roommates feel particularly inclined to look out for each other. Usually when I've done experiments in The Sims 2, and particularly The Sims 3, whenever Sims are left to their own devices and they cook something, typically I see them cook group meals. Somehow I don't think that's going to be the case today. Ah. <laughs> Jen's stre stretching her knuckles. Yeah, these fights are just never ending. Everyone's really looking after their own needs. I suppose I should have given them more than one bathroom in, in all fairness, but... Oh no, someone is cooking. Will it be a group meal, I wonder? But this house is hectic. Still, non-stop fights. This is as chaotic as I thought it would be. Maybe even more so. And once again, our loner Tony. Keeping himself to himself, just taking care of his needs. You know, he had a bath earlier, now he's making himself some dinner. He doesn't want any trouble. He's just trying to do his own thing. Good for you, Tony. I'm sorry that you had to get caught up in all this. Oh no, oh Tony, oh. Okay, there's a fire. Let's see if this gang can put their, their issues aside in the face of tragedy. Is anyone gonna be saving anyone? Is anyone gonna call the fire brigade? Huh? Anyone gonna call anyone or are we all just gonna die in a fire? I mean, like I said, this is an observational experiment so I cannot intervene, but hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully someone does something soon, otherwise we're all gonna die. I'm glad to see there aren't any fights breaking out right now, okay? I'm glad you guys have your priorities straight. Is no one gonna try and extinguish it, huh? No one's even called the fire brigade. Oh dear, this entire house is gonna go up and smoke then, guys. That's gonna start spreading soon. I, th I think we're gonna start getting some deaths on our hands. It's already spread to the second counter. Oh, Tony, you were just trying to live a peaceful life. What have you done? Well, guys, it looks like this is how it's going to end. You're all going to get engulfed in flames. At least Sims 4 Sims um, were able to extinguish a fire by themselves without my input. This, this fire is going to kill all of you if you don't do something soon. They're all just panicking, panicking, panicking. I think this fire might have spread too much for me to even extinguish now. Oh, shit, Della, what are you doing? Oh, no, Della stepped into the fire. Oh no, Della. Oh, Della, Della, Della. What are you doing in there? Why did you do this? You guys better step out of the way. You're going to end up catching on fire as well. I wonder if these Sims will laugh when Della dies. This could be the end for everyone. Oh no. Della is on the brink of death. She's going down. She's going down. Is anyone else on fire? No, it's just Della. You're not funny now, is it, guys? Eh? No one's laughing now, huh? I'm amazed Della's still alive, to be honest. Oh no, oh dear. What are you doing, Jen? Now you're caught in the firing line. I'm getting so many notifications of Sims catching on fire. Oh shit, everyone's catching on fire now. <laughs> oh no. Although the fire over here's kind of gone out. Um, Della doesn't seem to be on fire anymore. The camera's pulling me in all sorts of directions to draw my attention to the fact that so many of my Sims are on fire. Although Della seems to be okay, she's she's not on fire anymore. Oh dear. Oh shit, the Grim Reaper's turned up. Oh, Jen. Jen is gone. Oh wait, no, that wasn't Jen. Who was it that just died? Hang on, hang on, let's do a quick, quick check. Della's still alive. Derek's right here. Greg is currently mid-air. Jen's standing right here. Joey's right there. Tony's right there. Trish is right there. Who was it that died? Oh, it was Cheska. Cheska died. Oh, oh no. This entire fucking house is burning down. Everyone's going to be dead soon. Oh shit. That was Greg right there. Greg's just died now as well. Oh fucking hell. Tony. Tony's gone. Oh dear. Della's just gone. I think Jen is on the brink of going. She's on her way down. The other three, the three of them are still. Oh, there goes Jen. Oh dear. 
Off to the spirit world she goes, and the fire is gone. We have three survivors, Joey, Derek, and Trish. Oh, guys. Oh, man. Derek's turning hysterical. At least you don't have to share the bedroom with so many sims. Why are you all sad about those deaths? You fucking hated those. Life is... Yeah, I don't know why they're so sad. That, um... Oh, wait. She's only sad about Tony. Are you guys only sad because of Tony? Yeah. They don't give a shit about the other ones. Which makes me think Tony probably tried to be nice right before he left. Because the only one these other sims give a shit about is him. Oh, Tony. Gone too soon. Gone too soon, Tony. Well, you know what? We live, we learn, the experiment goes on. Grim, you're going to be here for a while. You might as well. You want a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea, Grim? You're going to be here for a while. Oh, and Derek, there he is, cleaning up the human remains. We shall never forget what happened here today. Such a tragedy. So many innocents lost their lives. Although, selfishly, I must admit, it is actually quite nice to have a moment of peace. You know, it's nice to see you guys not fighting for a change. I think we just get our heads down, guys. Try and forget about what happened. That bath is filthy. Just get your heads down. Let the dust settle a little bit and then we'll see how we all feel in the morning, shall we? They're having nightmares. A few survive. I keep seeing them popping up from where they're having nightmares and being woken from their sleep. Oh, like that. Oh dear, guys. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys don't have a fridge. Um, hmm. Well, I don't really know what to do about that, Derek, because... The kitchen's burned down. I mean, I guess I could give you something. Okay, I'm gonna give you another fridge and another stove, and um, let's see if you can manage to not burn this place down. It'd be funny if we have another fire, after all that. Are you gonna be the first one to cook, Joey? Oh no, they'd rather just get into a fight. Oh, did you learn nothing from yesterday about how precious life is, huh? Learned nothing, you too. Oh, unbelievable. You're literally starving to death. You'd rather starve and beat each other up than just grab yourself a fucking cereal bowl. Okay, Jen's finally got some food. I think she got herself some juice. Yeah, she got some juice. What's that? What's Derek up to? Oh, he's just having a nice little bubble bath. Not cleaning it, just washing in the already filthy bubble bath. Just marinating in filth. Joey, there's a fridge right there if you're hungry. Don't just stand there gulping at Trisha eating. You can go get your own fucking food. There we go, he's just drinking, just eating out of the fridge. Well, they've all learned something because neither that neither these two have tried to cook a meal. I think they've they've learned the lesson the real hard way. Stop slapping each other, get some food. <laughs> oh dear, you guys. We only have a couple of hours left of the experiment. I have to say, this this did not go the way I thought it would. I thought there would be a lot of fighting. I thought maybe some people would run away. I didn't think one of them would get so angry that they'd burn the house down. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this experiment. This has gone as well as I could have hoped it could have gone. Oh, and even Joey's trying to improve the environment by cleaning up some of the soot. What are you going to do with the ashes? You're going to piss in it, Joey. Yeah. Which one was the one you kept fighting with? Wasn't it Della? You can go take a turd in her urn if you like, if that'll make you feel better. Anything to please my sims? Still not washing the bath. Still just marinating in it. Well... There we go. 24 sim hours with eight enemies locked inside the house. Who would have thought it would have ended like this? And I think I'm going to call this experiment here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.